Warning, ship's structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. All right. Um, assuming I've done everything right, you're joining me back in, uh, I don't know, episode four, maybe episode three and a half, uh, something like that. We'll figure out an edit. Um, see if I can avoid that Reaper Leviathan out there somewhere. Okay. But uh, yeah, other episode was going too long, and we should be uh, ready to do an intro right about here. So, welcome. To another episode of Subnautica, and well, welcome to the wreckage of the Aurora. Okay, and oop, right off the bat, crab spiders or whatever those guys are called. Come on! All right, let's see if we can knock this against that guy. <laughs> knocked the guy. Uh, didn't really do as much damage as I hope, but okay. All right, nope. You go the out that way. You. Out to sea. Oop. Come on. Can I get him? No. Okay. All right. All right. So this is what the propulsion cannon is for: is throwing this stuff aside and or right back into me, uh, so we can get through that door. And there's a couple other places where the propulsion cannon comes in handy to just move wreckage out of the way, so you can get through the wreck. But oh, did I? Oh. That's fortuitous, because I completely forgot to bring a fire extinguisher with me. So, go ahead and pop that and right there. And we'll go ahead and, okay, no more fire. Whoop, a little bit of fire. And, hmm. Eh. This is not my preferred entry method, but yeah, we'll, we'll work with it. Um, so there are going to be some doors that require codes in this. Um, I just happen to have all the codes written down in front of me because I've played a few playthroughs. So um, I'm going to not spoil the codes for you. Uh, I'm gonna try to find the locations where the codes are, but I'm not gonna be too extreme about it. Uh, there's one code, the captain's cabin, um, that you don't get until way later, but I'm going to go ahead and go in there anyway just to get a head start. But yeah, I'm not going to go into this one right now. I'm just going to go this way and then come back this way when we are on our way out. Okay. Ooh. Some damage over here, and there we go. And that is the black box. Integrating new PDA data. Nifty stuff. Now there's a way you can go up and around here and out like through that door right there. Um, but yeah, you, you have to, uh, of course, you know, get up there and, and take the fire. But we're gonna go back around. Um, back into the, uh, well, in, into the door that I should have come into the, in the first place. So I just go back out here. All right, so now we should just be able to go out here and kind of, I think, angle around to the right. There should be a pathway for us. Hello. Just follow this stuff. Yeah, one of them's got some of my tissues in them. I think I don't know that. Oh. Oh, there's another fire extinguisher. Which we will probably need. Alright, let's scoot on by all that stuff. Alright. So this is kind of the main entrance right here. So there's PDA. Got the administration to the right, cargo bay to the left. We're going to go ahead and go on into administration. Oh, 
Oh. That's some hot stuff. Oh, I guess one little layer came back. All right, let's get rid of that. Just <laughs> stupid fire. Okay. Terra launches the Aurora. Isn't that special? Okay, nothing exciting there. Nothing to scan. Battery. Ooh, another PDA. Notes to self. Now this one is important. Because it has that right there, the cargo bay code in it. And, uh, no, nothing there. Okay. Black box doesn't really have any really good information. Hey, life pods 0, 01 through 25 launched successfully. That's nice. Okay. So yeah, this this codes and clues section is is really important to kind of keep an eye on. And posters are really important to keep an eye on too. They make the base look nice. Okay, so so much for administration, and let's head on down to the cargo bay. Now that we have the cargo bay code, and we're gonna need the propulsion cannon for this. All right, move on out of the way, you. And nope. Okay. Nope. That's good. It would be nice if you could like jump like a human being. <laughs> it's so nice. That's, that's like the one big thing that that bothers me about this game. It's like the, the smallest thing can stop you. Yeah, let's change that. There we go. All right. And as we recall, our cargo bay code was 1454. So we're just gonna come over here. 1454. Turns green, we can open. And whereas I have played this, played through Subnautica several times, uh, my memory is awful. So, uh, you know, if I miss something, it, it, there's no point in screaming about it. I just, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, it's like my health there was bad. Okay. Uh, come, come on. Human person. Come on. No. Oh. You know what? I don't need it. <laughs> God. All right. And, oh, there's a PDA over here. Integrating new PDA data. And uh, 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 nothing particularly important there either. Okay. Alrighty. So, oh, gee. Come on. Forgot about the biters. Yeah. Some places you get these stupid little biter fish that just attach to your arm. So, gotta have the knife handy. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, that looks like we can repair it. And so we can. Okay. We are a sweet log. Oh, it's just a couple of people playing a game. Alrighty. And, ooh, Seamoth Depth Module, Mark 1, nice. And, do, 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 do. there's a Seamoth Fragment up there, uh, if you want to scan that, but I don't need any titanium right now. Okay. Well, that's been lovely. Alright, drive room is up this way. Or, yeah, let's go down this way real quick. Ah. Goodness. Just making use of all the tools today. Alright, this is the locker room. I believe there's a PDA in here with a code in it. For auxiliary mission orders. New PDA data. Mm, no, that's, that's not the code. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, well, we got a PDA anyway. And, ooh, yeah, need that. <laughs> At the rate I'm taking damage, definitely gonna need that. Battery. Oh, another battery. Definitely getting plenty of batteries today. All right, there's the prawn bay, and jeez, man, just swapping around between different tools. Let's see how little we can get away with here. That should work. And get rid of that. Got to switch back to the repair tool. <laughs> All right. Into the prawn bay. Picking up a faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. Yeah, that's the black box that we've already picked up. <laughs> and there's one prawn suit fragment out of four, I think? Yeah, out of four. But it's okay, we're gonna find four in this room. We'll we'll be all good. Come on. Come on. Alright, and there's what was this again? Oh, storage module. That's nice. Bronze suit fragment number two. Number three. And I believe we're gonna have to scan one of the hanging ones now. So come over here. And boom! There's number four. Now we should be able to make a prawn suit. But it's a bit early for that. Okay, now here's where the human jumping ability is challenged. Can we do it? Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, and into the living quarters. A little supply locker here with some nutrient blocks. Lots of nutrient blocks. Some water. Oh, jeez. A lot of nutrient blocks. OK. 
Okay, and... <laughs> oh. Yeah, need the vending machine. Wall shelf. Alright, today's menu. Okay, well, not exactly useful information. Especially since none of it is ready for us. Okay. And that's... Yep, that's that. Okay. Oop, wrong way. Excuse me. Bed. Now we can sleep. It's her alms pamphlet. Charity, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, nothing really interesting there. Now ah, these carry all things. They're they are really useless. They take up so much space. You can't put anything into them when they're in your inventory. And when you put them down, they don't actually allow you to... Come on. Can I... Okay. Let me see if I can open this one. There we go. You can put nine things into that one. Which, I mean... <laughs> virtually useless. So if I put a bunch of stuff in here, it won't let me pick it up. Bag is not empty, so I had to take all the stuff out <laughs> and pick it up. I mean, if I could put my stuff in there and then pick up the bag, that would be really useful. That would be a nice, a, a nice feature. But no, not so much. All right. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but well, no, you I don't. To understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. Oh. Changing the terms of our relationship. R relationship drama. Still a relationship if we don't see okay. each other. Cabin five can't get to cabin kind. five, so. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility <laughs> in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I'm so glad we get a picture of some of the crew drama. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Well, that was a little brutal, but... Uh, Okay. <laughs> All right, now here we get into uh, the stuff. Uh, cabin one, I'm pretty sure the code for cabin one was, I thought that was in the locker room. And the captain's cabin over here, or the captain's quarters, um, you don't get the code for this until way later, but I'm going to go ahead and go in right now because I don't want to come back to the Aurora. And if I just go in there now, I get the thing and, and it's all good. So not a big deal. All right. So cabin one went ahead and put in the code for that, even though I didn't get the, the PDA for the code. Integrating new PDA data. Hmm. Okay, more relationship stuff. 
Hey, double bed. Nice. Wall shelves. Okay. Cabin three, what you got? Nothing. Alright, let's go ahead and open the captain's quarters. And we in. And the captain's quarters. Uh, Nothing extremely important here, except that, I mean, you know, in, in order to be able to finish the game, you have to come in here. Oops. In order to be able to finish the game, you have to come in here. Ah, that was useless. And you have to get this data terminal right here, which allows you to build the rocket. New PDA data. And of course, you can't use the escape rocket until you've done all of the things you need to do to be able to stop the, the virus and all that good stuff and, and be able to turn off the, well, to be able to escape. <laughs> so, so getting the plans for the rocket right now doesn't allow you to like skip everything. Come on, there we go. And, um, it, but it means that I don't have to come back to the Aurora, which is like why I like to do it anyway. There we go. All right, I think that's just about everything we need there. And if you come down here, I don't remember exactly what the way was, but I think if you just follow these pipes, it's pretty self-evident. Come over here, yeah, there we go. And it comes out like that. And this comes out where we were looking before when we popped up from the, the original door. Hey. Um. Go back to the locker room. And... Okay. Hmm. I could have swore that PDA was in the locker room for the for cabin one, but uh, oh well. All right. On to the drive room. Well, who, who around here has the appropriate qualifications, lady? I mean, I got a repair tool. That's really all you need, right? Okay, I think we're... I think we're all ready to go here. Okay. And... Oops, Cyclops engine efficiency module. That's always nice for when we do get it. Okay, well, let's start repairing these breaches here. Hey, there we go. Now we know what a breach is. There we go. In case you wanted to read about the breach. And I guess now we go under. Now there are several of those little bleeder fish things back down in here, so... You know, just gonna keep your knife handy. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Uh -huh. Nope. On this one. Now, get off me. Containment breach repaired. 
further breaches detected. She's a font of information, huh? Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Okay. Oh, looks like we got more up here. Come on. Oh, come on, get off. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Just three to go. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Come on, little bleeders. Come here, where are your buddies at? I'm gonna scan you. There we go. What are they doing? Killing each other over there? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ugh. All right. Come on. Oh, you little. Okay, I think that's enough playing with them. Um, well, we got two breaches left. Alright. Last one. Oh, there we go. And there we go. Don't need to worry about the radiation suit anymore, I don't think. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. Don't need that. All right. And now. I think it's time to get out of here, but okay. That's, oh yeah, it's this way. And oh boy, it's still unstable. <laughs> the drive room is, is repaired, but it's still unstable. All right. Now, let's hope we can get out of here without angering a reaper. Come on, move it. There we go. Alright, having the lights on is a little dangerous because the reapers can see it, but... Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, come on. Okay. Hit the ion thrusters. Alright, looks like we're good. So this is what the storage module does for you. You just pop it in there in the upgrade modules and then accent, open the storage. And you got 16 more storage that you can just throw in your Seamoth while you're in your travels. And then we've got the depth module, Mark 1, and that increases our crush depth to 300 meters. All good. Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. 7 out. Wait, he's... Coordinates corrupted. Okay. He sounded really calm. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's look at this. Transmission data. Okay. Kilometer southwest of the stern section. Okay. It's a good thing we have a compass. And this one is 400 meters north, west northwest of Life Pod 4, which don't remember if we actually know where Life Pod 4 is, so I guess we'll have to find that eventually. But that is going to do it. Looking out on a lovely sunset. Thank you for joining me in Subnautica. I always enjoy Subnautica. I love Subnautica. Hope you enjoyed it as well. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye now.